Hey everyone, welcome back to Gracefield Families. It's Steve here in the shed. Awesome spot to be, needs a lot of organisation and it's hot. But today, I want to challenge you about your paradigms and your values and the way that you are living a purpose-driven life. So stick around if you want to uh, discover more about being an effective, vision-driven person. <music> What if the toughest things that happen to you are exactly the things that are going to allow you to become the person you've created to be? What if the tough things, what if the things that are hard and suck and you don't want to go through are actually the things that are building you to be more like Christ and building you to become a, an amazing, effective, successful person in your life? Recently, I've read a book or listened to the book, uh, Seven Habits of a highly effective person by Stephen Covey and uh, incredible book, a long book, but get into it. And one thing that his first three sort of habits were all about was all about what is your paradigm? Like, what are you living for? What are you telling yourself? What are you speaking to yourself? Um, are you living a victim mentality or are you uh, seeking a growth mentality in life? And the second thing is what are your values and your principles that are driving you? And there is the first three principles are around that. And he talks about this idea of paradigm. Uh, and they're the models uh, for per and perceptions that we have. And they're the understandings that shape the way that we interact with the world. Now, a couple of years ago, I went to this awesome education conference called Paradigm Shifters. And it was talking about the way we see education now and the way it probably should be for our current world and generation. And I continue three, four years later to to question my practice and seek growth in what I do as a teacher. And we actually need to do that in our life. And, and Covey speaks about this as being vital to make sure that we are on a path of growth and not a path of being victims. Um, and he talks about the habits we have. Uh, and if, if we're constantly thinking in a victim mentality and thinking that the world is against us, the habits we form will continue to reinforce that way that we think. But he talks about if we uh, have a paradigm that says, you know what, which God gives us his paradigm, that we are successful, that we are made in his image, okay, that we are to go from glory to glory and we seek first his kingdom and all these things will be added for us. If we continue to seek a growth mindset, then we will develop habits that go towards that mindset and, uh, and increase our responsibility, increase our abundance and increase our results. It's pretty cool. And, and we're talking about this in parenting. Um, mums and dads, like, do we want to get better at our parenting? Do we want to become more and more successful with our families? Do we want to be purpose, values-driven people? If so, we need to like look at what are the, the paradigms? What are, what's my mind telling me? Is it telling me that the world's for me? Not the world's for me, but God's for me? Or are we telling ourselves that the world's against us? And I want to challenge you, take a, take a moment this week uh, in your thoughts. What are you believing? What are you saying about what are you doing? And Coffee goes on uh, to his third uh, sort of habit, which is all about your purpose and your values and living a principles driven life. Uh, and we know in scripture that there are so many godly principles that uh, God wants us to follow. You know, we've got kindness, generosity, love, hope, peace, joy, uh, patience, kindness, forgiveness, huge one. Um, there's so many principles that God wants us to live out in this world and he wants us to live separate in this world as, as men and women. Uh, he wants us to be the light on the hill. And uh, we get the opportunity to develop our principles, develop our values and what we want to live by. And so he encourages us to sit back, think about where we're at, articulate our values and come up with a mission statement for our life. And that's really cool because that's part of really what we want to do here in Gracefield Families. We want to help families develop their values and their principles so that as a family, they can live uh, on a mission for God, uh, that our families can thrive uh, in a world where more and more people, I believe, are becoming more and more the victim of their own circumstance, uh, that we'd rise above that into what God's calling us to be. And so it was really fascinating to, to read this book 
uh, and hear that. And uh, Covey, I'll read this out. This is, he defines the principles as fundamental truths that must be lived and internalized to achieve lasting success. And he said, it's actually those principles that end up centering who we are and what we live for. And we know as people of faith, we want to center our life on Christ. And so our principles, what we choose to follow, because the Bible talks about us taking the thoughts captive. It's actually us, okay, that, that does that. Um, we are the ones who have to allow God to renew our mind. If we're constantly watching garbage uh, or reading trashy novels or whatever it might be, our minds are not going to be transformed in the way of God like he wants to do. He won't be able to do that work because we're filling it with other stuff, right? Like, so it's actually the truths. These principles are the truths that we put into ourselves uh, to achieve lasting success. And I don't know about you, but I desire a lasting success in my family and in all that I do as a person. Jonathan Doyle, I'm going to read this quote. If we approach difficulties as challenges to rise to, rather than become discouraged, an opportunity to bring love to that moment, you will find the strength is there. It can lead to growth, improvement in your character and life. Guys and girls, we have an opportunity to embrace challenges to embrace the trickiness of this life and go, you know what? I'm not gonna become a victim of this. I'm gonna live by my values. I'm gonna live by my principles and go forward. Um, so a couple of questions, this is just a short one for you today. A couple of questions. What paradigms are you embracing? All right, I have spent the last two years really intentionally uh, allowing God to seek me out, seeking myself out and getting rid of some of the rubbish that I've believed about myself and started to believe uh, the good things that God has in store for me. Uh, I think it's time for you to do the same thing. What are the paradigms? What are you embracing? All right. Are you positioned to grow? Or have you just sort of stagnated? Uh, another book I was reading talks about uh, we're either going forward or backwards All right, in, in life. We can't actually just get to a place and stay. All right. So are you growing? Are you going forward? How are you developing yourself? Are you constantly allowing God to renew your mind? Um, what areas of your life do you actually need to tackle the hard stuff? Yeah, where, where do we need to actually embrace that and, and, and allow God to grow our character? In James 1, it talks about the hard times are what develops our maturity. All right, it's what develops us into maturity. Uh, I see it more and more as a teacher that parents aren't allowing their kids to embrace hard stuff. They're constantly rescuing their kids. And what it's doing is it, it, it's, it's keeping kids kids longer rather than maturing them uh, into being effective young adults in society. Uh, so, so what do you need to challenge? What do you need to embrace? What challenges are there that God uh, wants to mature you through? And lastly, on what I was just saying before, how, how can you allow your kids to embrace the joy of getting through a hard time? What values are you helping them to have around them? What family values do you have articulated that when a hard time comes, rather than just going and rescuing them, uh, a teacher or a sports field or whatever it might be, you're actually saying, hey, actually, you, you, you have like the ability to stand up for yourself. You've got the ability to tackle this, this challenge. I'm partnering with you to do that, but you actually have the ability to do that. So as parents, how are we encouraging our kids and getting our kids ready to do that. So, parents, embrace the tough stuff. Check your paradigms. Develop strong values and principles around you and get out there and charge growth for the kingdom of God. So to help you develop these values and these principles to live by, we've actually got a free five-day family insight guide. And part of that guide is all about what are your family values? And you can actually use that to articulate your own values and, and what your personal mission statement is as well. And that'll just help you to, to direct your family in uh, the paradigm of God. So head over there, www.gracefieldfamilies.com forward slash FIG, Family Insight Guide, uh, and grab that. Uh, it was great 
to have you here. Thank you so much for, for tuning in and listening to what I have to say. If you've got any questions, write them in the comments or email us. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. God bless. Thank you.